hello, 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 and welcome to Bezel's Game Show. A great half hour of guns, great gags, Mr. Brush, great gargantuan games. In fact, a great half hour. Enjoy. <laughs> Hold very still. Uh, mm. That's it. Uh, okay. Um, why did the golfer wear two pairs of pants? I don't know. Why did the golfer wear two pairs of pants? In case he got a hole in one. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually quite funny. It's good that. <laughs> Sorry, just a bit nervous. Let's meet the teams. Eagle Zebras, we're the best. Knock the stripes off the rest. We've got orange and black stripes. And really sharp claws. We're the Tigers. Here are wrong. We are the Busy Bees and we are going to win. We may be small, but we can sing. Yay! OK, it's a knockout competition. Three teams have the chance to go through, but only one will win. And go home with all the big prizes! Lower who? Somebody will win those prizes, hopefully, but first... Basil, get yourself down to the watery guns, Ooh. please. Running all the way! Yes. Ready? I'm going to talk to Tiger Team Zebras. How are you feeling? Nervous. Really? Why are you nervous? There's only a bit of water at the end. You don't want to go in it, though, do you? No. If you do it, zero points. Try and score some. James, you know what to do. Yeah? OK, a big old push, Basil. We're ready. OK, we're going on the P of the push. Three, two, one, push! Very nice push there from James, very controlled. Oh, come on down. It's a nice come on down. shot. We're definitely into the scoring zone. Into the positive note. It's beautiful. It's an excellent Still score. going, we're still going. 75. It's going. We're... Yeah, we're in 75. Oh, Let's yes. go to Frosty, though, and confirm those scores. Confirmation of the scores on the fridge doors from Frosty there confirms the Zebras have got 75 points! Yay! Yay! <laughs> OK, it's up to Team Tigers now to show us what they're made of. Poppy, what are you made of exactly? Bones. Bones and stuff. Um, so, how does that help you in this game? Strength. Ah, oh, very nice. OK, plenty of calcium in this push, then. You ready for this, Isabel? Bring it. Bring it. We're going to bring it, Basil. Are the bones going in the drink? Well, they're going in three, two, one. Push! Come on, well. come on, Dash. Come on, down to bit. We're definitely out of the minor song. Or are we? Yeah, we are. Yeah. A good score here. It's zero. This might even beat. Going into the positive. The Zebras. I think we're into 100. We might just be into 100. Oh, we are. Yeah. To 100 points, let's go to Frosty and make it official. Well done there, the Tigers, with a magnificent 100 points on the doors. Hey. Hey. I just heard a little trump. Ruth, are you nervous? Um, <laughs> I'm feeling a bit nervous, but I'm more confident than I am nervous. Okay, you know. I'm relying on Natasha. Natasha. Not to push me into the gun. It's all down to you, no pressure. 18 million people watching. Basil, <laughs> we're ready. So can the bees handle the pressure? We'll see in three, two, one. Push! Come on! That's a good push, oh, it's Natasha. An push. Oh, I see, it's a very strong push, you know? That's certainly going to be a good push. Almost crab like. But even the bees can't defeat the call of the gunge. Splish, splosh, splash. Oh, Ruth, are you okay? You're okay though, yes? It's freezing. Hey, but listen, you've scored. You're on the ball. You've got zero points. Let's go to Frosty and make it official. And it's freezing over there with Frosty as well with a magnificent zero points for the bees. Oh, yeah. Right then. Confirming the scores at the halfway stage of dunk bids, the bees are in the third place with their dunk and zero points. The Zebras are second with 75 points, and in the lead, the Tigers with a magnificent 100 points! Yeah. <laughs> boom, boom! Hooray! Hooray! But wait 
Wait a minute. I've seen gorillas dancing before, but never with a double dunk sign. Why? What could that possibly mean? Let me talk you through it. On here, there is a golden double dunk pointer. Ooh. Now, every time you roll into the scoring zone, this goes for all the teams, your score is doubled. Now, this is actually a problem if you get a minus score, because if you get minus 500, that's minus 1,000. This can make a massive difference in the game. Poppy, you ready for this? Yeah. Isabel, how are you feeling? Nervous now. Good. Yeah. Nervous now, but you were fine before I said that. <laughs> Lovely. All right, Basil, we're all ready. Will the cats get the cream <laughs> or the double cream? They're going in three, two, one, push! Go on, Pop. Come on down. That's a great, that's a great fast push. Come on. Come on. Slowing down quite nicely. Try not to move too much on that if you can. Is it going into the positive That's a really, really strong push. Ten. That is settling on 50 points, which of course is a double dunk. That's 100 points. Let's go to Frosty and make sure that's true. Well, confirming the scores there for the Tigers. They scored 100 points on the first round, 100 points on the second round, making a grand total of 200 points for the Tigers. Okay, it's some double dunk action now for the zebras. Jim, how are you feeling? Upset. You feeling upset or sick? Sick. Sick. <laughs> well, if you go right in, just vomit in the water, because there's only one more team to go in there, and that sort of makes it more messy. It's kind of nice, that. Listen, you need a double dunk, all right? If you get 75 points, that will put you through to the next round, because that will be double to 150 plus 75 that you've got. That's 225. You know what I'll do, Tiger? You ready? Yep. Okay, Basil, we're all set. Come to Basil in three, two, one. Push! Come on down! Good push! Oh, it's a very good push! Has it made it? Doesn't feel strong enough yet. Still feels quite weak. Come on, Zebras. I might be wrong. I might Come be on, totally, Zebras. totally wrong. It's 25, it's 50, but still going. Will it make it to 75? No, it's settled on 50, that's 100 points. Frosty, what you got to say about that? Will there be long faces from the Zebras after this final round? Well, the scores on the doors from Frosty will tell us that they scored 75 points in the first round, they scored a magnificent 100 points in the second round. You're working it out there, Frosty. Whenever you're ready, Frosty. Which means a total of 175 points. I'll sort you out, Frosty, don't you worry. Boom, boom! Yay! So, a quick recap of the scores. The Tigers are on 200, the Zebras are on 175. That means the Bees have got it all to do. How are you feeling? I'm nervous. Well, you should be. You've got 100 points or more. You have to score 100 points or more to go through. If you don't, you won't be going through. Are you more nervous now? Yes. Wicked. So, you ready for this, Ruth? Basil, here we go. Will the bees sting the zebras in the bottom? We'll find out in three, <laughs> two, one. Push! Go on, Ruth. Very nice push. Come on. I think that's going to make I'm not so sure. in that push. I'm not so sure. It's still going. Ooh, it's coming. It's still got a bit of momentum. It's going to make it. No, it's going to make it. That's 200 points. Let's go to Frosty and make it official. Float like a butterfly and they stung like a bee. Confirming the scores there of 200 points for that round, combining it with a zero in the first round, and the bees go through with 200 points. Yeah. 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 Big cheers there for the Tigers and the bees who are through to the next round, which means we've got to say goodbye to the Zebras. But have you enjoyed yourself, James? Yeah. Tiger, you too? Yep. Beautiful look, though. We live in pencil sharpness. Show them off. Go on, show everyone what you've got. Not only do you get those as your little booby prizes, you also get... They're G-R-H, a gorilla ride home! <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> See you later. Heads up. Hey. ta -ra. See you in a bit. So, we got the Tigers, we got the Bees, we got the next round. We'll see you in a bit. Profession? Uh, I once kidnapped a penguin from London Zoo and took it skating. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sorry, sorry, no, no, no. That's my confession. <laughs> oh, specialist subject. Uh, old jokes like what you'd find on lolly sticks and in Christmas crackers, and that. Right, well, here's the first question. <clears throat> what is brown and sticky? A stick. Correct. What's black and white and red all over? A newspaper. Correct. What's black and white and red all over? Newspaper again? No, I was looking for a sunburnt penguin. Oh, well, you should try the tanning salon down at London Zoo. No, 
Oh, well, never mind. <clears throat> Why did the beach blush? Because the sea weed. <laughs> Correct. What goes 99 bonk? A man having an ice cream and then dropping a pebble? Sorry, I was looking for a centipede with a wooden leg. <laughs> oh, well, I reckon you definitely want to go to London Zoo. No, I... <sighs> Look, how do you start a cuddly toy... I've started so I'll finish. Hang about, you've just answered that yourself. No, no, that's not the answer, you chump. That's just something I say when the machine goes beep. Do you understand? Yes. Do I get a point for getting that one right? Oh, Mr. Brush! At the end of that round, you've scored three points and no passes. How was that? Was that any good? Eh? It's the second round of games, and it's the Tigers versus the Bees. Yes, the air is thick with the smell of competition. <laughs> Ooh, and hairspray. <laughs> yes, we're in the wonderful setting of Melvin's hairdressing salon, Fringe Benefits. <laughs> Come on, Millie. You right, love? How are you doing? Long time, no see. Where are you going on your holiday? Oh, no. Ooh, sounds very nice. Right, let's have a look at your hair. My goodness, it looks like a riot state, doesn't it? Looks like a real old bird's nest. <laughs> what are you using to cut it? What instruments? <laughs> Lovely. Yes, Melvin has seen a gap in the market and set up a hairdresser's exclusively for birds. No. Oh, no. Yeah, and where there's birds <laughs> and hairdressers, there's eggs and hair dryers. Oh. <laughs> And bird's nests as well. Do you want to try it? Do you want to try it? Ready? Go get your egg into my bird's nest. Oh! oh all these that. eggs in my basket. It's heavy, careful. Oh, go on, sir. Right, so what are you using? Wax or boo? Sorry, my little joke. <laughs> OK, let's find out which came first, the chicken or the egg. Well, there's an egg. And there's a chicken. It's a relay race between Team Tigers and Team Bees. All they've got to do is get these birds' eggs to those birds' nests. Sounds quite easy, doesn't it? You ever noticed how ping-pong balls bear a canny resemblance to birds' eggs? Huh? <laughs> yes, but as everyone knows, bird egg law states that the eggs can only be legally transported in the cold air from a hairdryer. <laughs> and he went to bird law school. Mm. He knows what he's talking about. All right, then. Here's the cold air of the hairdryer. Here is the bird's egg. This is what you've got to do. Travel down the course and meet your teammate at the halfway point where you have to make the eggs change. <laughs> Sorry about that. You then have to transfer your egg over to the hairdryer and it's up to your teammate to take it down to the very end and drop it into the nest. Hopefully before midnight, Melvers, if you could do that. Go on, Melvers. Is he going in the, the nest? nest? In the nest. Beautiful. <laughs> Well played. So the first team to get three into the nest wins. So which of our teams is going to be blown away? It's time to find out. And remember, teams, if you drop your eggs, you have to go back to the beginning. So chickens and eggs, start your engines. Because uh, you're going in three, two, one. Blow! Ruth very controlled and very quick there. It's all about the exchange. All about how well this happens. Oh, it's start again. Oh, again. You it. Take your time. Back to the That's it. Take your time. Good job there. The exchange was going very well for them. Have they got it? Have they got it? Yes, they have. Yes, they have. Well played. A bit more power oh, on the well head there. The more power. I think they need more power on that take as well. And drop. There we go. Just take a look at the settings on your head right there. OK, one more up there. Click. There we go. Beautiful. We're sorted. Doing well then, bees. Take your time. It's all about... Oh, oh it's all it was about it. Careful. You've, got to, you've got to really take your time with that exchange. Has he gone in? Oh, oh yeah! Tigers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tigers are clucky. Yeah. These have yet to score. Really careful on the exchange. The really careful. Oh! Scramble. Slow, slow Unlucky beat. Tigers, Tigers are firing away. Yeah, that's a beautiful oh, exchange. Oh, exchange. Beautiful. Oh. This could be a win for the Tigers. It could be a win. It's almost too easy. Is it in the nest? Oh, yeah. What an extravaganza! 
The bees just couldn't crack the eggs change. Need to follow the tiger's example. But for the tigers, it was all too over easy. Oh yes, eggy wiggy hat trick. There they are, Team Tigers, who quite literally blew us away in that last oh, round. Yeah. Hair dryers, you know, blow. What Basil can do it in that car? No. Through to the next round. Congratulations, guys. That means we've got to say goodbye to the bees, though, everybody. Say goodbye to the bees. There you go, though. Wheelie bin pencil sharpness. Show us what you've got. Be proud. What else did they get, Basil? They get their G R H, their gorilla ray. Hell, See you later. Hey! the hairdresser. It's all good, though. Through to the next round, it's gondulator time. Bring it on. In recent weeks, a group of useless individuals has joined together to take on the forces of evil. So far, they've fallen at every hurdle, but they just keep on getting up and having another go, over and over again. I wonder what's going to happen this week. The story continues. Yeah, feel it working. Okay, to the right, ready? And a five, six, seven, eight. Beautiful, okay. It's a really good workout. You can feel it going right up your... So, that was a good workout. Yeah, whoa, I, I feel good. I know what you good. mean. My thighs are so supple right now. Yeah. Watch this. Oh, look at that. Yeah, check out these guns, baby. Whoa, like little foraging springs. I thank you. A curly-whirly wrapper, just like that. Wow, well, you are good, man. I know. Tell me. Oh, hello. Here I am. It's a good job we installed that cat flap. It's a very good way of getting in here. I know. Good it. day, fellow crime fighters. Hey, good day, Fox man. That's good news. I have solved. I have solved our mysterious bad guy problem. Oh, you. Woof, that's a relief. Do you want to go bowling? Yeah, I'd love to. <laughs> no, 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 comrades. Wait, return. I haven't solved it yet, but I do have the solution. Whoa. Oh, you just had my hopes up there. Yes, please, would you welcome? I hope you can get in me cat flap. Uh, serenade! <laughs> ah! Yeah. Uh, Hello there, uh, Foxman and the team. Uh, to meet you all is a dream. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, uh, great to have you here. <laughs> to fight with you will be great. To be honest, I cannot wait. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> right. As you might have already guessed, Serenade's power is the ability to sing everything, a skill that is essential to every crime-fighting team. Oh. Is it? It's news to me. Amazing, Foxman. You're a genius. Ah, thank you, Red Melvin. <laughs> but you haven't heard the best bit yet. Serenade has done a special composition for us. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. I know what he's going to say. It's a song so incredibly sweet and emotionally raw that I'll melt the mysterious bad guy's evil, cold heart. He'll give up his life of crime and return Swindon to its rightful place. Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Yeah, look, I, I believe it when I see it. All right. Look, 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 chaps. No one's ever heard this before, all right? So please, serenade, would you uh, take your position, me? Merci. Come on, oh, go, on. Oh, go on, you can do it. Go on. <laughs> Mysterious about the guy, don't be so mean. Mysterious about the guy, give up and come clean. <laughs> There's more to life than fights and wars and evil tyranny. Like guinea pigs and the fluffy cat, so cease your villainy. Mysterious about the guy, don't have to be so cruel. Mysterious about the guy, come and swim in my swimming pool. <laughs> we will swash and we will swim and laugh and chat and end this whole charade. And then we'll celebrate with some fizzy a la la lemonade. I thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Mysterious about the guy, do the right thing. Ooh. Yeah, yeah that, no. that... That was awful. 
That was brilliant. I love you, Serenade. I'm afraid, Serenade, I have to agree. <laughs> Sorry, I have to agree with the forager. That was utter, utter rubbish. Come on, clear off and say yeah. goodbye. Come on, get up. No, 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 get get off, it's rubbish. Later. Come on. Yeah. Goodbye. Just goodbye. Just the... goodbye. I'll never goodbye. forget you, Serenade. See you later. I'll never forget you. Oh, I thought he was going to do an encore for Who a second. Was? Mysterious, say goodbye. Okay. See you later. Mysterious, get back out. Next week on Zeros, Forager finds a new type of chocolate. Well, yeah, it looks like chocolate, but it, it's warm and smells funny. <laughs> Foxman reveals why yet another potential superhero failed to make the grade. Honestly, if I knew the windmaker's wind was from that part of his body, I would never have bothered. <laughs> oh, very whiffy, I can tell you. <laughs> and Red Melvin smells a rat. Mmm, smells like Keith. <laughs> Zeros, making their city, sorry, their city, mm. a safer place. Yeah! Yeah! Well, it's the final game for the big prizes. It is, and just the Tigers are left. Now, an infamous Tudor king has used his homemade time machine to come all the way back from 1534 to 2008 to see what it's like. Oh. Oh. Right! So what's the geezer got to do to get some grub around here? I'm well peckish, I am. Now I came via Francis Drake's house and all he served up was a poxy jacket potato. Oh. <laughs> right, who wants to serve me up a nice roasted swan then? <laughs> no, 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 get down, get down, get down, get down. Oi, Marty, don't you, no, 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 ow, ow! Oh. Well, Pluck my pheasants. <laughs> Doesn't a huge Henry VIII bear an uncanny resemblance to our mighty mini Melvin? He does, yes. But let's talk business, though, and a more important matter. You know, you can't just go around, Mr Lord, Henry, King, um, dude, you can't actually eat swans anymore because they, uh, they belong to the Queen, you see. Hang on, Squire! You mean to tell me you don't eat roasted swan, but you do eat noodles out of a plastic pot and chicken straight out of a bucket? <laughs> Civilise my eye! He does have a valid point about the state of our unhealthy eating, leading to nationwide obesity. Ooh. What's your name then? Jamie Oliver. I'm the guy who's got some takeaway grub, and Henry's a bit hungry. He needs it. Should we fatten him up? It's Gangelita time! New Idol, 6,000 points on the artist level! <laughs> Hey girls, here's how it works. At the end of the gundulator is Henry VIII, and he's awaiting for his food. Hello, mate, is that Jeremy Carl? Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna come on the show with my wives. You're gonna need a few extra chairs, though, mate. How many? How many wives? Six of them, yeah. <laughs> Actually, better make that five. <laughs> <laughs> um, OK, there are gonna be five levels to face, OK? With each level, the gundulator gets faster, and there are five obstacles to face, making it steadily harder the more you progress throughout the game. And there are five prizes to be won? One for each level. Yeah! Right, let's get the gundulator moving. Dr. John, crank him up. Level one, this is for the traffic warden's favourite, the wheelie bin pencil sharpener. Yeah! Come on, Poppy. Yeah! Well played. Big run up, big run up. That's it, that's it. Big job. Well played. Yeah! Poppy pops over. Flame grill. Level two, the gundulator is speeding up music and dental hygiene. This is for the musical toothbrushes. Yeah. Oh, what is it about? Yeah. Big run up. Yeah. Massive run up. Yeah. Oh, oh, she's yeah. gonna, oh, steady, 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 steady. Pizza to go go. Isabel finds out that jumping holding a huge pizza is not a recipe for success. A tangle of spaghetti legs and a big Hooray for knee pads! Hey! Well, assume the position. We're not gonna gunge you later. We're gonna gunge you now! Yeah. <laughs> well, Isabel is out of the game and in the gunge. 
but she's happy. Level three, the gundulator's getting faster. Let's get physical, because it's science experiment kits that are up for grabs. Come on, go for it. Come on, come on, Papa, you can do it. Come on, take it. The size of that fish and chips are enormous, huh? Poppy uses the fish and chip shield to deflect the antlers and drumsticks. Tasty work. It's level four now. The gundulator is speeding up. Speak like a robot. Up for grabs. It's the sci-fi voice changers. Come on, Poppy, you can do it. That's it, Poppy. Oh, well done. Nice big run up, Poppy. Great big run up. Well done. Well done. Oh, well done. Okay, crash to it. Crash to it. Take your time. Take your time. Mary Rose, but Poppy popped through. Uh. Way level five, the gundulator is at its top speed, and the wheelie top prize is up for grabs. Come on, Poppy. The bag is good for it. Come on, Poppy. Take your time, take, take your time. time. You can do it. Big run up. Well done. Okay. Flash it. Flash it. Flash it. Punch it. Not it. Jump into it. Go on, you can do it. Try the middle. Try lower. Try on the door. At first, you don't succeed. Try again. The breakthrough poppy power. And Henry's will chaffed. That's what's known as the tiger boogie. Extreme celebration there from the tiger. How are you feeling, guys? Kind of cold. <laughs> yeah, well, that's what happens when you're in the guns. But look at Poppy, all the work you did, you must be boiling. Yeah. Are you happy, though? Yeah. Check out the prizes. Look at these people. We've got the bikes, the voice changer kit, the science kits. Do I get a woohoo? Yeah. That's what we like to hear. Basil, we're all chuffed over here, mate. Good, so we've got some very pleased gandulators, and we're sending Henry VIII back to 1534 with a modern feast. <laughs> oh, hello. Uh -huh. Trouble is, I think he's having a bit of trouble with the wife. I wonder which one. <laughs> Anne Boleyn, you are so over, girlfriend. You are so going to get your head chopped off. Full stop. Right, Facebook time. Mm. Relationship status, single. Nigella Lawson, get the grub on. <laughs> I'm all yours, baby! <laughs> <laughs> Told you it'd be great, but I'm afraid that's all we've got time for, so we'll see you next week again on Bezel's Game Tube. Boom, boom! <laughs> boom, boom! Mo has a hard decision to make next in Free Phonics. Perform with the band or go to the Glove Ball Championships. Tough choice. And talking of choices, will the parents be able to beat their cigarette cravings in Smokehouse later? I think that my mum smoking is disgusting. Sick to death of living with smokers. These kids are sending their parents to the smokehouse. In just four weeks, they'll do whatever it takes to make their mums and dads kick the habit. Come on, Mum, you can do it! The chest pains at the moment. I think it's going to get harder. I am this close to having a cigarette. Find out how they cope in a new series, The Smokehouse, today at 4.35, CBBC on BBC One.